Ladies and gentlemen, your next contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. From Buffalo, New York, we have 183 pounds. This is Red Death Daniel Garcia. Well, the young man, Dan Garcia, already making a huge statement here in ESW and over, and over in Canada, over in Smash. But tonight, after the comments he made about Kevin Bennett's pregnant girlfriend, saying he's going to beat Kevin Bennett in front of his family, friends, and pregnant girlfriend, don't you think it's just going to fire up Bennett even more? Well, I know a little bit about Daniel Garcia, like you mentioned. And his opponent. Smash Wrestling, but the kid's 19 years old, and he said before this matchup, the Buffalo guys weren't working until he showed up and raised the game. Tonight's Kevin Bennett's chance to prove him wrong. Dan Garcia coming out here with a lot of intensity. From North Carolina, New York, weighing in at 195 beats per minute. He is the remix of professional wrestling. He is Kevin Bennett. The remix of pro wrestling, Kevin Bennett coming out to a surprising mixed reaction. Here from the CSW crowd, he cannot be happy with the comments that Dan Garcia made. And also, he's coming in off losing the ESW title to Pepper Parks. A lot of intensity in this match. Well, you gotta think, the com like you said, the comments of Daniel Garcia combined with losing the ESW title, compound that with the feeling of possibly letting these people down. And look at this already, some pushing and shoving going on before the bell. Referee trying to separate him to get the match started. And he throws a shirt at him and takes him down to the clothesline to get things started. A lot of intensity coming out here from Dan Garcia. And that's what he needs as he whips him into the corner. Daniel Garcia is ultimate aggression. The Red Death, he's 19 years old. He has the whole world ahead of him, but he's not waiting. For him, it's all about right now. And a win over former ESW champion Kevin Bennett would skyrocket his status here in ESW. It's gotta put him in title contention, no doubt. Garcia, after a couple of chops, goes into the corner, and Bennett with a hard punch. And Bennett not wasting any time whipping it outside. Bennett's gonna follow him, however. Straight shot to the face there by Kevin Bennett as he goes over to the guardrail, slams his fit face down in the guardrail. Bennett. Again, those comments certainly got to be ringing in his head over and over again as he slams Garcia's head into the ring apron. This is definitely a more aggressive and different side of Kevin Bennett we've seen here in ESW as he has delivered elbow after elbow to the face of Daniel Garcia. And now, a huge boot to the head as he has Bennett. He has Garcia leaned up against a guardrail. And this crowd chanting for another one. Bennett goes into the ring, breaking the count. Certainly wants to get a win to stay in title contention. Doesn't want his name dropping out of that contention. As the Red Dead sees it coming and drives that chop into him. Bennett brings him up and over onto the mat. And Bennett fired up. But look at the intensity on Garcia. Looks for the moonsault off the apron, doesn't get it. Big boot instead by Garcia. Garcia whips him into the ring post and Bennett goes down. And a clash of styles as Daniel Garcia, Pancreas style, very strong style, very strike oriented. Kevin Bennett likes to focus on speed, likes to take risks like that moonsault. It's gonna be interesting to see how all things shake down. After dropping his back on the apron, only gets a one count just driving in the back of his head into the mat as, as the Red Death gets another one count. Just a straight punch to the fit. Oh, a little bit of a disrespectful pin there. It's just with one knee over the net. Gets a one count, however. Bennett still very much in this match. And that's one of the things you got to watch when you're Daniel Garcia. When you're 19 years old and you're experiencing success in this industry, 
you have to be able to keep yourself in check. Disrespectful pins, being brass, shooting your mouth off, could get you in a lot of trouble, especially with a, a wrestler of the caliber of Kevin Bennett. Look at the intensity on Garcia's face as, be as he Bennett sidesteps it. Jumps up, kicks it in the face. Bennett back over to a hard punch. Bennett not laying up here, which he can't do. Another hard boot into the corner. Kevin Bennett literally remixing the face of Daniel Garcia. But whoa. What a drop kick by Garcia! Sets him back in the head of Bennett into the second turn buckle. Two count. Says the official, but just Garcia feeling it right now. And that John Woo drop kick literally resulted in Kevin Bennett's neck whiplashing into the turnbuckles. Gotta wonder if that's gonna play a factor into this match going forward. Look at the confidence and right now in, in Daniel, the Red Death. Daniel Garcia recognizes that, putting pressure on the neck, not allowing Bennett to get up. Just gotta keep working that body part there as just drives his knee into the side of Bennett. And does it again. And a lot of people, a lot of people have asked me actually about Daniel Garcia and, and how he performs and how he competes. And I gotta say, when you hear him, like, those battle cries, those are actually intentional. It's a trans, it's, a, it's believed it's a transfer of energy. It's all about taking your aggression from inside and projecting it onto your opponent. It's not a mistake, it's calculated. And Daniel Garcia, well versed in that Pankhurst style. Garcia still working on the neck of Bennett as he chokes Bennett out and then drives that knee into the side of the neck, gets a two count. Here on Bennett, Garcia again lines him up on that second rope. And a hard shot to the mat by the Red Death. But I think, if anything, it might have just fired up Bennett. Sometimes you need a wake-up call, and that might have been it. A little bit of jaw jacking there, and here we go. All that pent-up aggression from the comments of Garcia, losing the ESW title, coming out here, and, he, and Bennett just taking out his aggression on Garcia. Well, I, I know for a fact Kevin Bennett's girlfriend is here tonight, and you know he's not going to want to lose in front of his girlfriend. As well as his parents. Nice swinging net breaker there by Bennett. Bennett starting to feel it here a little bit. Garcia on the rope. Sweeps the leg, sends Garcia face down into the mat. Jumps over the mat, over the right, and, and stops Bennett, or, or Garcia right in the back. Spinning, Spix 1-9 style move right to the back of Garcia. And now, looking for it here, backbreaker. Bennett goes for the pin, two count, but now you have Kevin Bennett working a body part, working the back of Daniel Garcia. Trying to beat the Red Death at his own game. I gotta say, it's a smart plan. If you take the back away from Daniel Garcia, you take away a lot of mobility, you take a lot of torque. And Daniel Garcia is a big fan of submissions. And when you take away torque from a submission specialist, you take away a lot of that man's arsenal. These two looking to get back into the title picture. Garcia looking to get into the title picture for the first time here with a victory over Kevin Bennett. Bennett picks him up, wraps him up, but look at a DDT counter by Garcia. Garcia not wasting any time, rolls around, keeps the head of Bennett locked. Looking for the suplex here. Bennett counters with a side slam. And both men down in the center of the ring. And we're all tied up at zeros now as both men are on equal footing. Dan Garcia said in his comments earlier that a lot of people in this building see Kevin Bennett as the best coming out of Buffalo. Garcia really wanting to dethrone him of that title here tonight. Especially as there's a group nipping at the heels of Kevin Bennett, including Kevin Blackwood, Huff, Daniel Garcia himself. You know, you gotta think, Daniel Garcia might not just be doing this for him. He might wanna blow the doors open for all of, all of Buffalo right now. Just the young talent here, the strong young talent coming out of Grappler's Anonymous School right here in Buffalo. And look at the intensity on these two in the ring. Bennett fighting his way back into this match. Couple of kicks here by Garcia, looking to slow that down. Just these two trading blows. Back and forth we go in the center of the ring. This has just turned into a brawl, James. A hockey fight if I say so myself. Slap to the face there by Garcia. And another one. Slapping the body of Bennett. Just 
Slapping him down to the mat. A little bit of a disrespect a little bit here from Garcia. Daniel Garcia. And what a boot by Bennett. But Garcia not wasting time here. Trying to stay in it here. Suplex. And say Daniel Garcia counts Minoru Suzuki as one of his influences. And a power bomb there. Two count. Only two. And, and if it wasn't apparent, those strikes definitely made it so. Yeah, you can definitely see the influence of Minoru Suzuki in Garcia's arsenal here. And just again, the intensity on Garcia, wondering what is it going to take to keep the remix down for three. Just grabbing him by the hair to pull him back up. Garcia looking for the suplex there, but it's held by Bennett. Bennett trying to avoid it here. Elbows to the back of the head to fight out of it here and does so. Hooks the leg. Hooks the head, however, brings him down. Both men right back up. And the cutter! One, two, oh, and he got the rope! Garcia got the rope just in time! And you can't teach that ring awareness. That's an eight. You're born with that. If Daniel Garcia was able to reach out and grab that rope practically unaware, that's all instinct. Again, the young 19-year-olds, almost a natural in the ring already, has a couple of high-profile wins and now looking to climb the ladder here in ESW and what a way to do it. But Kevin Bennett's gonna have to use the motivation. There's a fine line between motivation and distraction. And with his family here, he's gotta use all that pent-up aggression as motivation to finish Daniel Garcia off here tonight. Here we go, corkscrew, but caught! Bennett's got him! Garcia's got him! Garcia trying to make him tap! Or trying to make him pass out! Nowhere to go as Bennett looks to fight out of it here. Just swinging around and looking for the pile driver! Got it! Spiked his head but only got two! Garcia can't believe it! And neither can I! Kevin Bennett's head got spiked in the center of the ring. And Garcia just can't believe that Bennett kicked out and neither can I. Well, if there's ever a time to dig deep in this matchup for Bennett, it's now that devastating pile driver. That Bennett might not know where he is. Devastating's an understatement here. Look at Bennett. Bennett definitely got his bell rung there. Garcia can't even get him to stand up. And Bet and Garcia claws him up and a hard shot. Just punches and chops in the corner. Gets him up to the top rope. Garcia, another hard punch. And another on a very disoriented Kevin Bennett right now. Is he going for a superplex off the top? Bennett looking to fight out of it here and does. Gets Garcia down and trips him up and not the way you want to land on the top rope. Absolutely not. And whether that was intentional or not, Either very way. beneficial to Daniel Garcia. You say Garcia gets Bennett rattled a little bit here and he's going to go back for it. We got a bear hug on him right now as Bennett Trying to deliver to the elbows to the back of the head of Garcia. Shot after shot after shot. Still laying into it. And Garcia still somehow up there. Uh-oh. Bennett got him hooked. Looking for it here again. Set from the second row. Two, three. Bennett. No one out. Seemingly out of nowhere, Kevin Bennett hits a remix from the top, putting down the Red Death in an incredible matchup, showing just why Buffalo Pro Wrestling is at an all-time high. And what a match between the two. But again, hit Kevin Bennett hitting the remix from the top to secure the one, two, three, and wait a minute here. That's Pepper Great Park. Job, Kevin. Great job, man. 
Now, we both know that you get a rematch clause for the ESW Heavyweight Championship. I'm just here to remind you of that time I wrapped a steel chair around your pooty little body. You just sometimes we do bad things for good reasons. I mean, Kevin beat you in under six minutes. When's the last time there was an ESW Heavyweight Championship match main event in under six minutes? So before you sign that contract, Kev, I want you to think long and hard about this, okay? Because pain, old painless is coming for you. And that's no BS. Well, Pepper Parks certainly with some choice words for Kevin Bennett. Kevin does still have a rematch clause that he can invoke at any time, but again, that's the first time that a champion has lost the belt here in ESW in that short of time.